Hey everybody, Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. In this video, I want to show you this car here. This is Honda Civic. It is a sedan, so it's the saloon version, and it's a one liter turbo, and this one is what's called in Ireland a Smart Plus model. In this video, what we'll do is have a look around the features on the outside of this car and the inside, and we'll go for a quick drive in the car. So by the end of the video then, you'll have a better idea of what this car is all about even. Anyway, so one thing on these cars, most people always associate Honda Civics with being a hatchback car. Um, and this sedan, like, so we had a sedan that was a saloon version that was out until like 2010 and then there was no saloon until 2018 and then this one came out. And I think it's a really handsome looking car. When you drive behind one of these at night time, the tail lights on the car, they're really, really not like anything else. Like it really stands out. Um, so you end up with this like really distinctive shape. I think this, like, I just think it's a very, very cool looking car. It's kind of hard to sort of get it across in the pictures, but next time you're on the road and you see those kind of taillights, like even the hatchback had those nice taillights, right, fine. So you get those taillights, big LEDs along through there, but there's just something about them when you're driving behind them at night time and there's certain angles you get on the back of them. They're just a really, really distinctive shape. And I love like the way the daytime, sorry, the side runners even are just on the side there. They make the car look a little bit wider. I think it's an awesome looking car. So this one then has a Smart Plus specification. Uh, the one thing, uh, if you're looking at like hatchbacks and saloons as well, so what I'd say to you on the saloon is you get a silver wheel instead of a black wheel, you get chrome door handles instead of colour coded, you get the window chrome up high, and then you'll see at the front of the car we also have chrome on the nose. So that kind of makes it more distinctive than its hatchback looking counterpart. But it looks like quite a long vehicle, and again, a nice, sporty, distinctive looking shape. I think that looks really well. This is a polished metal grey, which is definitely one of the nicest colours in the Civic. In terms of getting in now the car, so the boot actually has a button that's on the door. So over here, if you want to access the boot, you're down over here pressing that button there, or then you can actually pop it, unlike the hatchback, and you can open it up like so, and that's it. You get quite a long boot, uh, so it's a little bit longer than the hatchback version, albeit the hatchback has a wider opening area, which is a natural consequence of the way the back window is. But also on those, if I pull them, what's neat about these is you can still actually drop the seats forward, unlike a lot of saloon cars. So it just still gives you that little bit of extra versatility, uh, just like what we've seen in the hatchback already, but you still get that kind of pretty cool, and in my opinion, as you've heard me talk about already, distinctive shape. Parking sensors will be standard on the rear, and parking sensors will be standard on the front. The key will also control the lights, so I can turn, sorry, lock and unlock the car, and I can control things like headlights, and also, um, for a lot of people, which is useful, opening up windows, or similarly locking doors, locking windows, and also retracting wing mirrors as well. And just in case you're wondering when the wing mirrors come back out, if you open up the door, unlock the car, wing mirrors come back out then. This car anyway, if you're interested in this particular car, uh, we are going to be supplying this car with say 12 months warranty and a full proper service. And it's a nice low mileage example. So I think what we'll do next, we'll go some of the features that are on the inside of the car, and then we'll also go for a drive in the car. I am a bit of a fan of the chrome on this. Actually on the hatchback, weirdly enough, I prefer no chrome, um, but on the saloons, I really like the chrome. So the big chrome nose, it kind of makes it more distinctive. See, the saloon's a bit more of a reserved car than the hatchback counterpart. So it was a kind of, so for someone that didn't really, like the hatchback's very loud and very aggressive. And the saloon was maybe for somebody that didn't want that sort of level of kind of standing out, a bit more subdued. But I like the way the wheels are diamond cut as well. So they're shiny and reflective now. Apologize, the car needs to be clean still. Um, it's come in, we're kind of in the middle of servicing and cleaning it. But I like the way then the chrome on the door handles matches the wheels, which matches the grille. Anyway, let's have a look inside. So in terms of the rear, there's privacy glass, which is not standard on these cars. So that's been specified on it. That's usually something that comes with them. Three head restraints, three three point safety belts, arm rest in through the center. Uh, again, this is a nice low mileage example. Chai locks in through here, electric through windows over through there. For anyone that's wondering what it's like to sit behind a six foot person in the back of one of these, well, this is the level of headroom we're gonna have, so it's actually quite good. And when I, these came out first, I kind of thought this might be a little bit lower because the way it slopes, unlike the, the hatchback slopes, but this kind of slopes over a longer period. So this C pillar, I thought was a bit more compressed. But actually, it's grand. And then the headroom, or sorry, the headroom. The leg room, if I sit behind myself, that's what I'm looking at, a nice big arm rest in through here. And the privacy glass quite nice and effective if you have younger children as well. And the child locks on. In the front then, so yeah, apologize. Uh, normally I'd have them clean, but we're just a little bit behind at the moment. I'm gonna turn it off because it's making noise. Fine, USB connector, storage, drinks holder, which 
nobody ever seems to do but like it's actually two drinks holders i don't think a lot of people cop that don't you hear that <coughs> sorry i'm croaky today uh don't you hear then the gearbox is super nice you'll see that when we're driving the car parking sensors front and rear we talked about reverse camera through there with dynamic guidelines and different settings as to what way you want it automatic park brake eco mode to reduce how uh, aggressive the cruise control and air conditioning is the nice aluminium pedals on it so they're nice to use seat i'm in obviously is height adjustable so it goes up and down and in and out and then there's lumbar support for my lower back and then after that there is rake reach steering so i can go in and out and also up and down as well over here then is going to be things like apple carplay and android auto so it actually has built-in garmin to be fair uh, from the factory but uh, most people then choose to uh, use things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, and it's quite you know simple and straightforward. Find climate. You press the button here. It's touch and swipe. Driver side, passenger side. Chance you hear then a bit of storage, and you can pull wires out through there to meet your phone, and they will connect back here into HDMI, USB, and 12 volt power as well. This is things like average speed, fuel efficiency, next service due. All that kind of information is in through there on the car, uh, and then after like fuel efficiency fine uh the other thing i was going to say to you then is this is cruise control so you can say a couple of things actually you can see the buttons changing there i can have cruise control to say how far do i want to stay behind the car in front i can have lane centering so it keeps me dedicated right in between the white lines or i can just turn that off and i can have a lane departure which warns me just as i leave a lane that's a uh, collision mitigation so under 30 kilometers an hour the car is going to try and stop if you don't stop in time so if something stops in front of you you don't touch the brake pedal car's going to try and stop you to avoid you having the accident and it's actually quite cool it works really well the engine itself then is a one liter uh, vtec turbocharged engine so 124 horsepower nice sound off it actually if you listen to it accelerating the gear changes are really nice in these cars as well so the shift really nice like that's not just me like read any review in a honda civic generation 10 everyone always says the gearbox is really nice on them and they sit on the back road really nice too they have independent rear suspension so ah previous models before the older ones had these solid beams in the back and it was a bit of a different ride these are much more kind of confidence inspiring on a, on a road like this you just feel like you know what's going on underneath the car when you're driving and it's a quite a wide car so there's a good stance on it anyway so it makes you feel secure when you're driving it in terms of fuel efficiency normal people kind of around 40 to 45 miles per gallon that's like kind of six and a half maybe litres per 100 kilometres, something like that. And to be fair, the power level is absolutely sufficient because I suppose one litre turbos are much more common, but like when these came out in 2018, there was less them around. Uh, and I think people have become more accustomed to it, but you know, you actually do not need any more power. So anyway, there you have it. That is a really nice, like there can't be too many of these, I think left with kind of low mileage. The cars ran from 2018 up as far as 2022. Um, and if you look at the price of a new Honda Civic now, it is almost 50,000 euros. This car is half that, and it's only got, you know, 33,000 kilometers. From an actual value for money point of view, I just think it's gonna make sense for somebody that's maybe got a car that's, you know, 2014, 13, 12, moving up a few years into a really, really nice car with low mileage. Anyway, like I sent you, we'll service the car and we'll put a warranty on it and all that kind of stuff. I know it's a bit dirty in the video, but it'll be a nice, tidy car. When we have it ready. So if there's information you want in the car, 86 843 1945 Brian's my name, call text WhatsApp if you want information about your own car, trading it in that is, or if you want information about this car or financing or whatever you want to know. Anyway, hopefully the video is useful. Thanks for watching.